So welcome back to the second part about standard form and I have four example questions and uh, for you uh, the question is to write each one of them in standard form eh, or scientific notation. All right, so pause the video and try it and then have a look at my answers. Okay, so we continue now. Let's have a look at this one. It's a quite a large number. Uh, I'm going to go relatively quickly. Okay, standard form, so it's always a single number followed directly by a decimal point. Six point, in that case I have a three left, times ten to the power. Okay, then I take a moment to carefully count the amount of places my decimal place moved. Okay, so initially where's my decimal place, or my decimal point I should say actually. Where's my decimal point? It is here. Okay. In my standard form, it is between the six and the three. So how many places did it move? Oh, one, two, three, four, five. It moved six places, so times 10 to the power six. Okay. The following one, two followed by loads of zeros. What is that in standard form? Well, that's just going to be two. Yeah, that's my first number, point. But I only have zeros afterwards, so I can ignore those. So it's just two times 10 to the power. Okay, I'm gonna carefully count how many places did the decimal point move. It used to be here, and now it is there. So it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It moved 10 places, 10 to the power 10. Question C, a relatively small number. Standard form is always the first number in Tiger, eh? three point immediately followed by point always, and then I have a seven and a nine. Times 10 to the power, and I'm gonna count now again, how many places did my decimal point move? It used to be here, now it's between the three and the seven, so that moved one, two, three, four, five places, but because it's such a small number, it is to the power minus, Five. Okay, and then the last one, 52.3 times 10 to the power of 3. Now that actually already looks like standard form, doesn't it? However, standard form is always the number immediately followed by the decimal point. Yeah, just one number, 3.796.32, yeah? Here it's 52.3, so that's not standard form because that decimal point should be over there. Now, there are various ways of doing this. I'll just show you uh, what I prefer. Uh, I'm not saying that's the best way, but 52.3 times 10 to the power of three. How much is 10 to the power of three? How much is 10 times 10 times 10? 10 times 10 is 100 times 10 is 1,000. So let me just write it out 52.3 times a thousand and that is equivalent to i don't have a lot of space i'm going to write it here 52300 0, 0, 52300 isn't it yeah because basically uh, you're moving the numbers three places eh? 52300 and then i'm going to write that number in standard form so 5.23 times 10 to the power, okay, now I'm gonna count. The decimal point is here, one, two, three, it moved four places, so times 10 to the power four. Yeah, it's a little bit small there in the corner. I hope you can read that, okay? Perhaps you saw that I could uh, do that directly, so 5.23 times 10 to the power four, yeah, because I move it one more place, so the three goes to the four. Anyway, standard form helps us to make sense of very large or very small numbers. I hope that was useful. Uh, check my Facebook or my website, explainingmaths.com for more information, and ask me your questions if you have any. I'll see you later.